So, you probably recognize the chair a little bit, the flag, a different background. Well, I moved. A lot's happened, quite a lot. My grandmother, who I was living with, passed away in September. Uh, so I mo obviously moved on my own. October was full of like viewing apartments and all this. <sighs> Had a few, got scammed. Anyway, I found a place. Season, there's a few things, obviously, but I'm doing this video about death and what comes with it, really. Obviously, with it comes change, as you can see, but as shitty as it is, like everyone goes through it. No matter what, you're gonna go through it. And yes, a lot comes with that, especially the hurt and turmoil of it. But parts that come with it that may be good or so is the change, is the difference. Um, I'm not going to say that I haven't had my time or haven't had some bad days because, you know, it comes with it. All that actually comes with it is the feeling of being familiar with someone and or that's why it hurts that's why sometimes it's not the best when we come to thinking of the loss and so on like that now i can only say for myself I don't know who all knows, but I'm on the PTSD spectrum. With being on that, I mean, we all cope in our different ways, for sure. And even some coping mechanisms aren't the best for people. So that's why we're kind of relaunching this series, but it's gonna be called Catalyst of Emotions now. But what I mainly want to talk about is like, right behind me, right? That, Iron Man poster wooden board thing was one of the last Christmas gifts I got from my mother. I have that displayed, small things I have displayed that kind of carry me on my bad, bad days. And now I'm also able to look at memories because that's something that we'll always have. Time's not guaranteed, but our memories, the things that we did, the things we remember, the things we do are sometimes those things that get us by. So even if it's kind of a negative memory, there's some things there that help us. With it though, sometimes your brain flips on something and you decide to think of a negative of that. That's why you got to make sure you're okay and your psyche is in the right place. Now, I myself don't even know fully how to keep it in check. Others don't either. That's something you for yourself have to find out. Something that when I moved here, I didn't know if I wanted to keep it was my grandma's bed frame and the bed and stuff. I thought if I kept it, it would give me, you know, PTSD attacks or nightmares or anything like that. But it's actually been more comforting than anything. Just cause like my grandparents have had the same bed frame and mattress set and such since I was young. They would like spring clean it all the time. <laughs> and that's what I remember growing up around. The footstool that I have my legs on right now, you can't see they're off camera a little bit. Here's one of my foot, hip, feet. But um, my grandfather built that. There's kind of a bar set up in my kitchen. My grandfather built that when he was in high school. So there's always gonna be 
traces of them around, your memories of them. Even though somebody's not there or not here with you doesn't mean they're not actually around you. Presence, it's a crazy thing. Some may say if they can't see someone that they're not there. But that's very incorrect. This, this little wooden statue of this old hobo. My grandfather got this for me because I was obsessed with that real life hobo when I was growing up. That's something. That's, I still have it. That was something they wanted me to have. That's there. The table that, right here, my pat built that. Even if it's not the exact situation, you look, I know you're gonna look around if you're dealing with a loss or anything and probably instantly go in and be hurt because you don't want that feeling. You don't want that change. As shitty as it is, there's nothing you actually can do about it. You just keep gotta keep on going on. And that is what actually hurts of it, is that you have to keep on going on. But with that, yeah, people say stuff happens for reasons, which Yes, it does, but those reasons are never going to be explained. That's something that we will never know about. So why should we go and say, Oh, it's better this way because everything's for a reason. No. Although that may be the case, and some of the pain we've been through causes us to go and align ourselves in a different way or do something in a reaction that isn't the reason why we did that reasons i would say not exactly motive but when we're in a traumatic event or hmm, let's say in a, anything serious our minds racing at speeds we can't comprehend. When I say I, we can't comprehend it, I mean that it's going so fast that we're tens of thousands of miles behind it. We're not actually there not thinking about that situation or problem, but we're on to the next. We're hyper fixating on that next problem, not the solution of that next problem, but the next one. Part of me does obviously feel kind of shitty of it. I mean, not shitty as in the sense I feel bad, but the only video of Nan is uh, well, a bomb one from last October. It's not that I didn't want her in video. She just, mm -hmm. she always offered and all this. I just didn't want to. Um, no, mister. Sorry for my cat there, you know, but my point here is that even though it was just one, that's going to live on forever. It's going to be forever. My cat's green with me. I don't know if you can hear. I could sit there and dwell on it along with dwelling on the fact we never got to shoot that video with Kathy, but stuff happens and if that didn't happen, then obviously I wouldn't be here. Oh, come on, beef. You want to say hi? Say hi. No, say hi. Come on, beef. I'm kind of in the way. You want to join me for this, I guess? But, oh shit. When um, everything went down, it was September 21st. I was supposed to actually be getting a tattoo on my leg, but I woke up. Usually I would, you know, tell her I was awake, and I tried, <laughs> and didn't get any response. So I tried again, and then walked in the room, and as soon as I got in the doorstep, like the door frame or whatever, I knew. Anything to add? I think that would be a no. Mm -hmm. 
Now, one thing that's not always for everyone, though, is obviously dark humor. Helps for me, helps for other people. But what's, oh God, what's guaranteed to work for me isn't going to work for you. Or anything like that. That's kind of also why we started this back up. Sorry about that. Cat almost fucking knocked down my lens. So with this though, we're obviously we're gonna talk about different topics of like just different whole topics, okay? So something that's crazy is we think a year is long. We think that time, you know, is linear. But time itself can be a multitude of things. The time we spend with one another can at the end be the actual only time and moments we'll only ever have. And what I mean isn't the whole wadi da Oh, take your time for it. Don't take it for granted. What I mean is the 20th, September 20th, my nan was fine. Just like November 26th slash 27th night of was fine for my mother. Within a snap, things can change. So even if you're angry at someone that you do care about, or even if you're just not having a good day and kind of flipped at someone. Do remember that everything's not guaranteed and something could happen. So don't leave anything just up in the open because at the end of it, you don't know if that's ever gonna be opened. You don't know if the worst day is ever gonna come shed. Tell me that you love 